today I'm putting the guillotine treadle hammer through some, some like a testing phase to really see what it can do, what it can handle. Uh, I've got a piece of, of steel in the fire right now um, that I hope to be able to turn into an axe here soon. The main purpose that I built this hammer was for punching holes. As a tool maker, you punch a lot of holes for the eyes of handles on, on tools, hammers, axes, all kinds of other tools. So I'm working on a little axe right now. It's gonna be like a three pound axe, um, punching the eye. It's a lot of steel to go through, but I did a, a heat on it already. And I just wanted to show how smooth this thing works for exactly what I intended it to be for. Just traded out the flat dies for some rounding dies. These are some thin, aggressive drawing dies. I'm going to draw out the the bit of this uh, uh, pickaroon that I'm forging. So uh, we'll see how it goes. As you can see, I just dropped the head down a little bit because I have way too much stroke for what I'm about to do. But I still have a good amount of stroke before I come down, and you'll see how well it works. Still a decent workout. Um, it's better than doing it by hand though. Saves my shoulder quite a bit. Uh, keep drawing this out a little bit more until the, the, the transitions are a little smoother. It's a little rough right now. It's going good. great about this design of treadle hammer I didn't like how it was feeling where the treadle was in relation to the head uh, I was actually hitting down here on the frame before right before I hit the, the back of the tool so uh, I just upped the link and that probably won't be an issue anymore we'll see got it <laughs> 